Yo, man, you know what time it is? It's been a month, man. What the videos, man? What the fucking videos? One thing I hate is when people ask me questions that don't need answers. And what I mean by that is like simple questions of like, Hey, man, when you gonna clean your room? Your room's dirty, man. Clean your room. Why haven't you made a video in a month? Yo, what are you doing? I'm mad. My friends, they get this shit from me all the time. And it makes me seem like an asshole, but I'm not an asshole. I mean, I am, but I'm not an asshole for doing it. But I hate when people do shit like, and they call me. Yo, what you doing? I'm out. Nah, but what are you doing? Like, if I wanted to tell you what exactly I was doing, I would have said what I was doing. If I'm saying I'm busy, that means whatever it is you're trying to get me to do, I'm not available to do because I'm I'm not available to do it. I'm, and what I like to, you know, bless that on because the past couple years, I have mastered the art of being low key. First thing you need to know about <laughs> being low key is definition. So let's look it up. Low key, to keep something low key, to not announce it, to keep quiet, to have a quiet gathering. Opposite of a large party, a big group of people, not much emphasis. Closely aligned, closely aligned with a normal night out doing the usual stuff. I'm going out tonight, but it's pretty low key. I've got to work tomorrow, so it's going to be a low key event. Being low key is honestly one of the best things you could do for yourself. Learning how to be low key is it's like zen. It's like learning how to be at peace with yourself because you, all of your business pertains to you. You're not out there showing it off. Because it's like take niggas on Instagram for an instance. When niggas post pictures with money. Yo, my nigga, I just pulled out a stat. Let's get ready to take it for grand, my nigga. Let's get it, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Really, all that is is an invitation for other niggas to rob you. That's all that is. That's like you posted your location, where you're at, how much money it is exactly. All that is just an invitation for your followers who can see the location and the amount it was that you put it up in the status for them to react to such. So on the gram, titties, twerking, titties, motivational pose. Yeah, get your bread up, kid. Get your bread up. Yo, I'ma like that. I'ma like that. Yo, what's good? Let me comment on the shorty picture. Yo, what's good? I ain't like these other niggas. What's good? Yo, yo, little homie from Cross Street posting up a stat. Act like I ain't across the street finna rock. Gotta teach him a lesson. Those are my thug clothes. If you ever see me pull up on you in that shit, just know it's a rap. Being low key can save you from a lot of embarrassment. Like, I have a personal story. I met this girl, and me and the girl had a lot of friends in common. So. My thing is going about getting to know her phase and, you know, talking to her phase and texting and all that shit. Like, I used to, like, post about it on Facebook or, like, you know, write statuses about her, all of that. And then, like, you know, every time I go hang out with her, my friends are always there. So every time they see me, I'm with her. And it was like, it wasn't a relationship and nothing was going on. It was just that getting to know a person day, but I was doing it in front of fucking everybody. Unfortunately, things between me and her did not work out, and the thing is that it looked stupid on my end. Like, it made me feel so embarrassed because I had every, every fucking body who saw this shit coming up to me like, Yo, what happened to you and such and such? Yo, that's fucked up. It, it just, like, every time that somebody else asked me about it, it just reminded me of how shitty that felt that it didn't work out between me and this person. Like, it just didn't work out between me and that person. That feeling sucked, and then it ended up sucking even more because it happened in front of every fucking body else. If you're a side nigga, your entitlement is being low key until she starts to do some fucked up shit, cause then you gotta call her main nigga and tell her you been in the pussy. You gotta snitch, that's it. We snitching, call him up right now. I'm so low key, I judge my friends because they're not low key. Like, a lot of my friends were in relationships and I wasn't. So, because I'm being very low key about what I'm doing and shit, because, you know, they want to try to do couple shit. So, they ask me if I'm talking to anybody and to bring them. I'm like, no, I'm good. I don't need that type of shit. You're happy. I'm not going to bring something that may not work out because I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to let you know when this thing is certain and it's solidified as a thing. Then I can bring this person. I'm not bringing somebody I, you know, I'm getting to know. 
and all that. I'm getting to know him. He could be a murderer. You want me to bring a murderer to come through? We all chilling. Hey, hey, Evan, you brought your day to this fucking like Jason Voorhees and shit. <laughs> mystery. My life is like a big mystery. It's a big old shroud and cloud of mystery. Nobody knows who I'm fucking with. Nobody knows what I'm dealing with. Nobody knows much of anything. All you know is the little amount that I give out. You can only know as much as I want you to know. And the thing that's funny about me is because the fact is I can tell that my friends are in relationships and I can tell that they're happy in their relationship because they're not low-key at all. And I don't mean that in the sense that they're flaunting their relationships. I mean like I'm so low-key when they like text me pictures of shit like oh they're at somewhere. I can like see everything that they did for the day in that one picture. Since I'm like the super detective now. I'm like my boy sent me a picture of a restaurant like yo this restaurant look nice. Yo one day we should go here or whatever try it out. And my thing is that from that picture, I can tell everything he did for that day. Because in the picture, you can see the car door handle, so I can already know he's driving. And you can see a, a, like a knee, somebody's knee, their lap, their thigh, and then like a hand on the thigh. So like the hand had the wrist connected. There's a watch on the wrist. I can see what time of day it was. It was two hours ago. So you don't even act like it wasn't two hours ago. Don't act like you just now sending me this, you know. And from the knee, I can tell you with your girl. Like, come on. If you had a side chick, you know, you would just be exposed right there. Like, yo, come on, I can see you with your girl in your car in this neighborhood with at this time of day. And, and there's a bag in there. You know, I can tell you just had McDonald's. Yo, come on. Like, yo, I don't even know your whole day. Like, I can scope out your whole day from one picture because you just didn't take a picture of the fucking the, the, the logo and send it to me. Or just send me a link. Or like you see the restaurant you look it up for the link and send me a link to it and then i won't know none of that shit you could have just sent me the bare necessities of the information and that way i wouldn't need to know anything else about it one of my friends got caught up because the side chick took a pic in his car granted that could have been any car but the fact that there was a water bottle in the back they knew everything it was a wrap it was like yo if you just clean your car and then like his elbow was in the corner of it and my boy got a tattoo you can see the tat you can see his elbow and like a piece of the tattoo and with the water bottle i'm like yo you giving it away now you can see from that picture she with you and your car and if she is with you and your car we know what's gonna happen i just feel like in this day and age on the internet where identity theft is a thing catfishing is still a thing i don't even know how to fuck catfishing is still a thing facetime me bitch what you can't well you're not who you say you are i'm out of here <laughs> People can only know as much as you put out. On my Facebook, I don't really have any real personal information on there. So you won't know when my birthday is. You don't know who none of my family members are. You don't know where I live. You don't know where I work. I don't put none of that information out there. You don't know who I'm talking to, who I fuck with. My, you know, my Facebook is so low key. If you don't know none of my friends, you can't add me. I have coworkers who are trying to add me. They can't. You can't even send me a fucking message. Cause I'm that goddamn low key. My Facebook is so low key. If you write on my wall, if one of my friends write on my wall, only me and that person can see that conversation. Nobody else can see that. The world can only know as much as you put out there. If you don't put much out there, there's not much to take. So with that being said, that's all I have to say about the topic. If you in, if you laughed at any point in this video, like the video, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. All of them are at Evan Combest. So don't forget to follow me on those type of things. And if you have anything that you want me to talk about, topics, crazy shit that's going on in the world today, don't hit me up on either of those things and let me know. Comment down below your thoughts on being low key. If you after hearing my thoughts, are you a low key person or are you just out here, you're just, you're naked. You're out in these streets and you're fucking naked. You're basically walking around with your dick out and everybody can see how small that shit is. Put on some pants on the internet, damn it.